Good evening, my name is Monica Spears and I'm going to be demonstrating balloon geometry um, based on the table in our book, 9.2. Um, so I'll be demonstrating several examples. Um, so the first example um, of balloon geometry that I'm going to present is sulfur dioxide. Um, the total number of electron domains is three. The type of molecule is AB2. And then the electron domain geometry is a trigonal planner. And it looks like this. It looks like that. The number of lone pairs is one. And that is sulfur dioxide. The second example is ammonia. And the total number of electron domains is four. The type of molecule is AB3. It's a tetrahedral, that's the electron domain geometry. And the way it looks like is like this. And the number of lone pairs is one, and that is ammonia. The next example is water. Water um, has a total number of electron domains of four. The type of molecule is AB2, and the way um, the electron domain geometry is displayed is as a tetrahedral, and so it's going to look the same as ammonia. So it'll look like this. And the number of lone pairs for water is two. And this is what water looks like. The next example is sulfur tetrafluoride. The number of electron domains is five. The type of molecule is AB4. And the way the electron domain geometry is displayed is called a trigonal by pyramidal. And the way it looks like, it's gonna be a little hard, but it's going to look like this. I don't know if my fingers can fit all this. So it'll somewhat, oh, it's a bit hard to display, but it'll look something like this, something like that. And then the number of lone pairs is one, and that's sulfur tetrafluoride. The next example is chlorine trifluoride, which has a number of electron domains of five. The type of molecule is AB3, and it's going to be like sulfur tetrafluoride um, in the sense that it's a trigonal bipyramidal. Um, so again, it'll look something like this. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see that there. Um, maybe my balloons were a little bit skinnier, um, but that is going to be chlorine trifluoride. And the number of lone pairs is two. The next example is iodine difluoride. The number of electron domains is five. The type of molecule is AB2. And it's going to look the same as the last two. It's going to be a trigonal bipyramidal, and that's the electron domain geometry. And it will look like this. It will look like that. And the number of lone pairs is three. The next example is bromine pentafluoride. The number of electron domains is six. The type of molecule is AB5, and the electron domain geometry is octahedral. And that 
will be I don't even think I have enough fingers for this. So it'll look something like this. Oh, it's very hard. My balloons aren't skinny enough. So it'll look something like this. And then this one will go in the bottom. Um, so that's bromine pentafluoride. And the number of bone pairs is one. And the last one is xenon tetrafluoride. The number of electron domains is six. The type of molecule is AB4. And again, it's an octahedral. Um, so it'll look... Gosh, I wish I could do this. It would look something like this. And the number of lone pairs is two. So that is xenon tetrafluoride. Thank you for tuning in and have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.